Hi guys! My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of January reading for you all. January 1st through the 15th reading for Libra. Happy New Year! How are you all today? I hope everybody has a great New Year. I hope you all had a great holidays and just stay safe out there if you're traveling around anywhere. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. This one and this one. I can't believe it's January already, you all. Can you? Uh... Uh, 2019 really just flew right on by. Give me just a minute, okay? It does take me a minute sometimes to get all these cards. Here we go, this one. See what we got. Six of Wands. The Hermit. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Four of Swords. And the star card. You're clarifying. Two of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. And the Knight of Swords. Door to Romance and the World card. Wow, you all. Those are nice. Might put that right there. Meditation brings answers and big happy changes. Hmm. <laughs> Which ones you want on top? Looks like they're all awesome. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. You know, I believe for a lot of you guys, over the holidays, you guys are really trying to rest and recuperate, recharge your batteries. And that's what I feel about with this Four of Swords. Because a lot of times, for some reason, you guys just work, 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 work. And then all of a sudden, you're like, okay, now I need some time off. And that's, I'm, I'm feeling like you are... Um, getting some much needed rest. And then I get this hermit card. I get this meditation brings answers. I also get the world card down here, which really makes me feel like that this is the ending to a, um, a cycle in your life. And when it comes to an ending in a cycle, it almost makes me feel like that there's going to be new changes, new ways of thinking, new ways of living, new ways of seeing things. And it's really kind of exciting for you all. Because if you look, you've got this victory card, the Six of Wands, and then you've got this star card, which makes me feel like that the universe, the divine or spirit, is actually 
leading you, guiding you, um, pointing you in the right direction. So I get excited with all of these cards because I think that for some reason, okay, hold on, let me back up. For some of you, there may be a situation where you don't know which way to go, which way to turn, which path to take, which idea to go with, which job to go with possibly, which home you need to live in, which car to buy. There's all kinds of which ones that, I'm, that I got going on in my head, so it's going to be different for everyone. So when I get this feeling and I get these cards, I really do believe that, especially over the holidays, you guys may need to meditate. You may need to lock yourself in your bedroom, in your bathroom, in your car, especially if you have a lot of people in your home. But lock yourself in a room and just pray and meditate and try to go within for answers. When you do this and you meditate, like this card says, you're going to start feeling, knowing, and appreciating your intuition, your gut, and your instincts. Because you will get the answers that you're looking for if you'll just pray on it if you'll meditate on it, if you believe in, in your intuition. I have the star, and just like the world, the hermit, the star, you guys are being guided, you're being led, you're being pointed to, to take certain steps or start certain um, decisions take certain ideas maybe and make them bigger or make them stronger or make them more secure. And for some of you guys with this door to romance, I think that you guys are either starting to date someone that may be changing, changing something about the way you think or the way you're handling things. And for a lot of you, you may not have thought you wanted this or needed this relationship, but for some reason it's really fantastic for you. It's, it's one of those things, I think for a lot of you all, Libras in general, you don't just, hold on, I wanna word this the right way. <laughs> if you're single, you don't just want anybody. You, you want the right person for you. If you can't get the right person, you'd rather be by yourself. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I understand that completely. So sometimes after a while, if you're still single, you just kind of say, you know what, I don't need anybody. I can do it by myself. I can do it on my own. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through that. But then all of a sudden you meet someone that really rocks your world. And you're absolutely tickled with this person. You're happy with them. They're happy with you. And this person could change your life to a certain extent in a good way. So that's kind of how I'm feeling today. It could possibly be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that you're dealing with. If not, this is your energy and your um, way of thinking and and you, you're trying to use your intelligence and you're trying to talk yourself out of something right here. This five of swords makes me feel like you're you're conflicting with yourself. On one hand you like this person, on the other hand I don't know if I have time or whatever excuse that you're coming up with. And I'm, don't take that the wrong way. I'm not trying to be mean about it. I'm just saying that if you guys are single, you might be finding someone and they might really make you happy. If you're not single and you've been with someone for a while, I almost feel like that the, over the holidays that your relationship is going to get stronger. So it's a good feeling that I have. It's not, nothing bad um, about the relationship or the door to romance. It just makes me feel like you guys might be happy. 
might be really happy because your wishes, your dreams, your hopes, your um, what you've wanted is coming to life. What you've hoped for, what you've prayed for, what you've asked for is coming to life and you're going to be victorious. You're, this is a victory card. Promotions, victory, success, achievements. You could be a boss over someone. You could own your own business. You could be getting um, this big old pay raise and this new title. So it's a great feeling that I have. This could be coming in a message. I'm going to put these like this. It could be coming in a message, an opportunity, a choice, an idea, a decision. Or you could be dealing with someone younger than you, dating someone younger. But I definitely see you guys being happy in the new year, in January anyway. You may even meet this person at, at New Year's or over the holidays. I have this Ace of Pentacles. And it can mean financial gain for some of you guys, but it can also mean other things like um, your health and your wealth and your security and your happiness and um, you're on the right path or starting that new chapter in your life, possibly with a new uh, romance. You guys are going to be happy in January. I can feel it. And just because you're arguing with yourself or you're conflicting with your own um, thoughts doesn't mean... Hold on. Let me, let me say the right thing. I almost think that, uh, like in this card, you... <laughs> I don't want to say anything that would make you guys mad at me, so I have to watch what I say. For some reason, you guys are always trying to do their best thing. You're always looking at everything on the intelligent side, which is great. There, I'm, not, I'm not complaining about that at all. But sometimes that starts getting you to um, conflict in your own mind. So on one hand, you might like a person. On the other hand, you don't know if you have time for them or if you want to make time for them. And you keep going back and forth and back and forth back and forth. It might not be regarding a new romance at all. It might be regarding a new idea or a new job or a new home or a new car or things like that. But for some reason, you guys are going to come to, to a conclusion that you are going to go with what your gut is telling you to go with. That that's where the meditation, that where that's where the going within comes from. And you guys are going to be happy with your decisions and happy with your choices and it's all going to work out for you. I have a great feeling about it. So if you're if you're um, arguing with yourself, there's no reason for it. You might just need to take some time out meditate, do some exercises, do some yoga, and actually go within and go soul searching if you need to. And when you do, you're going to know which what, what to do, which way to go, and how to do it. And it'll be a really good uh, feeling that you have. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. These are all beautiful, you all. I'm not sure which one to... I don't know which one to go last. This is victory. This is your hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. This could be financial gain or a happy, healthy way of living. I think they're straight. I hope they're straight. 
So there is going to be some kind of conflict that you're having, I think, mostly with yourself. It could be with another person, but for some reason I feel like it's almost with yourself. Not knowing which way to go, what to do, how to do it. Maybe it's regarding the new year, a new job, a new place to live. But you're going to keep going back and forth, I feel like. You're going to make the right decision. You might need to exercise, do some yoga, do some meditation, go within, lock yourself in your bedroom, bathroom, car, wherever you need to go. And... Um, actually just turn off everything turn off the, uh, the TVs and the radios and your phones and just sit there for an hour or, or so and um, pray meditate go within and find what you're looking for when you do that this card here specifically tells me meditation brings answers okay when you do that you're going to see or feel the right way for you and when your gut tells you to do something that's what you're going to do that's what I suggest anyway I'm not trying to tell you what to do I'm just suggesting it go with your gut go with your instincts go with your intuition because when you do those are the right things for you guys I have this Queen of Swords up here, male or female. This is definitely you and your energy. I have the Knight of Swords, which makes me feel like you could be dealing with um, maybe a new uh, romantic partner that may be a little younger than you, male or female. Or this could be standing for a message. Um, it could be a child of yours. It could be someone, a sibling or a friend trying to help you out. You are going to have options. I feel like there's going to be choices of which way to go or what to do or how to do it. You're going to know these answers, okay? They could be bringing in some kind of financial security. And if not, this is your happiness and your health and your well-being in general. Because I think that there's going to be big happy changes. I mean, look at this, there's going to be, and this is your hopes, your wishes, your dreams coming true. But on the flip side, this is also the divine or spirit or the universe leading you down the right path. Because here is the victory card. This is what you guys are aiming for. Possibly a promotion, a new job, a new uh, business, a new, uh, opportunity for some of you guys to do something completely different but you're going to be successful you're going to be tickled about this choice or about this option and you're going to pick the right choice for you if you do have someone coming into your life don't panic over it go with the flow if it's right it's right if it's not it's not if you've been in a relationship before there is going to be some kind of rekindling or getting closer or getting falling back in love with each other and and you guys are going to be tickled this is a good feeling that i have for the month of january so if you guys are panicking over a decision or or a idea or which way to go um I've, I've already given you what I suggest. I suggest to go within and go with your instincts and your gut. And once you do that, you'll know that these are the right choices for you. And you're going to be extremely happy and satisfied with your choices or your decisions. I really do think so. All right, Libra, this is a great reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is your first half of January reading 2020. I can't believe it. January 1st through the 15th. For Libra, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope everybody has a happy new year. Please be safe out there, you guys, if you're traveling. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.